Well, the sun's out today for the first time all week. You can actually see the top of that building. And we got to show off our posters today. There's our posters, water bottle. Now we just got to wait to cross the street. Start the day off right with some donuts. Should be good. So today is presentation day. This is my poster. I did a field study course development on the geographical history of Michigan, but it's basically just the history of Michigan. So here's a, the daily site visits we got here. Here's the map generally. We're starting this where I go to school at Saginaw Valley, and then we'll go to Bay City, Duran, Michigan, was the center of the railroads in Michigan. Then we go over to Detroit for the automobiles and Fort Detroit. There's a lot of history in Detroit. Down to the Toledo War site, which really wasn't a war, it's just a couple shots fired, but it was the war over the border and Ohio actually won that. So that's why interesting that Michigan and Ohio had a rivalry dating before the, uh, the collegiate rivalry. Uh, then we go up to Ann Arbor. Um, I went to school in Eastern Michigan, which is just next to Ann Arbor. For a little bit now i'm going to saginaw valley go to lansing battle creek kalamazoo holland grand rapids up to traverse city sleeping bear dunes is a really nice place um if anybody any of you live in the midwest you should go to traverse city because it's a really nice town and we're actually going to go to petoskey i couldn't get the map to to cooperate but we go to petoskey mackinac city mackinac islands right there uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Copper Harbor, Marquette, yep. It's just, uh, this is Taquanon Falls and Grand Rapids. And this is a pier on South Haven. We, we went there a lot as a child growing up on the west side. And on the map, this is actually where Colon is located. Uh, if any of you NASCAR fans, Colon Motor Speedway, my fictional racetrack. Yep, it's located right around here. There's Battle Creek, the Phoenix-like racetrack. Uh, Ann Arbor, I had a road course there in season seven. Kalamazoo, I used to have a racetrack there. It's no longer going to be in my series though. Yep, and I uh, try, might put a track in Saginaw area, Midland. Actually, I do have a track in Midland. Midland's uh, right about there. They call it the Tri City, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland. I live in Bay City for school. Yeah, so this is what my uh, poster looks like. It's a lot of fun here today. Just talking to people about my poster. This is why I'm here. I'm in here in Boston. Hope everybody enjoyed. So this is what this conference is about. Showing off posters here. A lot of people over here, so I'll migrate. This is chock full of a lot of people are showing off what they researched and worked hard on to get here to Boston. It's a huge conference, as Trump would say. So it gets really interesting over here. On these aisles, they got a lot of books to show off here. Uh, geographic education and some online stuff. Here's some drones. Drones are really cool. Uh, check this out. Nice. Population geography. Yeah, so this is just a, this one giant geographer's convention. It's really nice in here. Uh, definitely learned a lot through this experience. I appreciate everyone that wants to actually watch my videos of this. Um, it has been a lot of fun being here. Uh, this is 
not my last day, but this is basically my last day at the conference. I think tomorrow I'm going to be out and about at Boston looking at some stuff. So yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed the tour of the conference. And I'll see you um, possibly more later on today. So stay tuned. What a glorious day in Boston. The sun is trying to come out through the clouds. It's a little windy though. Uh, this is around the area where my hotel is. I just went to do some shopping. Got some stuff from my family back home. Uh, and I also got this uh, nice little Tom Brady goat. Uh, <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, I laughed so hard when I saw that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's really nice. Really having a good time here in Boston. And also, got this doing a Patriots hat for my dad. I know how much he likes the Patriots, so. Because uh, we live in Michigan. And if you didn't know what school Tom Brady played for, it was the University of Michigan. So go Blue, and go Tom Brady. That's why there's a lot of Patriot fans in the state of Michigan. And it's because of number 12, the greatest of all time. He's a really good football player, so. The city loves them. That's for sure. Boston is big with the New England Patriots. <laughs>